Hi students. Good morning. Back again with the remaining part of the tense that we were looking at. Now we have almost finished seeing simple present tense, present continuous, present perfect, simple past, past continuous, past perfect, simple future, future continuous, future perfect. Okay. Now we are going to look at the last three perfect continuous tenses that is present perfect continuous tense, past perfect continuous tense and future perfect continuous tense. The sentence structure of present perfect continuous subject have has been plus ing plus ing verb plus object. Okay, he has been sleeping since two o'clock. He has been sleeping since two o'clock. And this word since I underlined here, it is talking about the quantity of time, the duration. How many hours? Sorry, the starting point of the action. When did the action start? Sleeping. It started at the 2 o'clock. It started at the 2 o'clock. To talk about that, we use since. The same word, uh, word for used in perfect continuous tense. This talks about the quantity and the duration of time. Here it is for two hours, here it is two o'clock. This is two o'clock, the person started sleeping. Now they have not been playing for two hours, means they did not play for two hours. Or their playing did not continue for two hours. So for is used perfect continuous tense when we talk about quantity and since we use when we talk about the starting point of the action, the beginning. Okay, so negative sentence structure is subject have or has one of the way we learn in the present perfect tense with the third person singular we use has and with all other persons we use have not plus be plus ing verb plus object. So they have not been here. Now the question format is have or has one of them plus subject plus be plus ing verb with object and question mark. So we have how they be working since morning. Okay, that's all the basic thing about the sentence structure of present perfect continuous tense. Present perfect continuous tense. Now where do we use present perfect continuous tense? To speak about an action that started some time back in the past and continued till the time of speaking and it may end or may not end at the time of speaking. It might continue. For example, uh, I have been taking classes since morning. I have been taking classes since morning. That means morning has started up to now it continued. It may end now if my tangible classes are over or it might continue if I still have to finish. So that is where we use present perfect continuous tense to talk about an action that started some time back in the past, continued up to now and it might continue. That is what I have been taking classes since, since uh, morning. Now, sometimes action started in the past, continued up to now, and ended at a certain moment at the time when we are talking. The best thing for this is waiting for somebody. You are waiting for somebody from 10 o'clock in the morning. He told you he will come at 10 o'clock and you are waiting. At 10.30 also he has come, 10.45 he comes. The moment he comes, your waiting comes to an end. Now you don't need to wait for him. He came. Now, whatever you want to do with him or go to somewhere, you can do that. Fine? Now, but when he comes, you can tell him that I have been waiting for you since 10 o'clock. That means your waiting is over, but from 10 o'clock, you have been waiting. Or you can say, I have been waiting for you for 45 minutes. 10 to 10, 45. 10, 45 is the time your friend arrives. Okay? So, that's the usage of present perfect continuous tense. Next is about past perfect continuous tense. The sentence structure, what you will see here, okay, instead of this have 
example has only had only that. Okay. So the sentence structure of past perfect continuous tense will be subject plus had plus be plus ing form the verb plus object. They had been sleeping for five hours. It's only for the sentence structure purpose. Okay. They had been sleeping for five hours. She had been uh, working for two hours. Fine. That's where we use. And the negative sentence structure is subject plus had plus not plus be plus ing verb plus object. Okay. She had not been doing well in her exams. She had not been doing well in her exams. They had not been uh, getting their salary for a long time. So that's where we use the negative sentence of past perfect continuous tense. The question had plus subject plus be plus identity verb plus object. In the when we studied about past perfect tense, I told you we don't use that format. There is nothing wrong if you use it, but we can use otherwise. Is that clear? And the usage is to talk about an action that started before a point of time in the past and continued till that time in the past. Okay. An example uh, uh, that I can tell you is that I went to meet one of my friends in the hospital. He is he had an operation. And he is admitted there after the operation taking rest. Okay. Now I went to meet him yesterday morning. And today I am talking to you about I went to meet him yesterday morning. And today I am talking about Now he had already been there for 5 days yesterday. Yesterday was the 6th day. 5 days already he completed. Now today I am talking about you. Oh, sorry, today I am talking to you about him. So, when I went to meet my friend in the hospital, when I went to meet my friend in the hospital, that is yesterday morning, it is already passed for us. He had been admitted to that hospital for five days. He had been admitted to that hospital for five days. That means Five days before yesterday, our point of reference in the past is yesterday morning. Five days before that, he got admitted to the hospital and then he continued to stay there till I went to meet him yesterday. And he is still continuing, he is still there, but I am talking about my meeting with him yesterday. So that the point of reference is in the past is yesterday and the action started before a point of reference in the past and continued till that point of reference in the past. Okay, so if you understand this example, well, it will be easy for you. I went to meet my friend in the hospital yesterday morning. When I went to meet him, he was already there. Already five days he spent in the hospital. So now today I am talking to you. That means my friend's admission to hospital six days back is over. My meeting him one day back is also over. Both are past now and I am talking. And what I'm talking is that his continued stay in the hospital for the last five days. So when I went to meet him, meet my friend, he had been admitted to the hospital. He was staying in the he has been sorry, he had been staying in the hospital for five days. Okay, that's where we use past perfect tense. Past perfect continuous tense. Next is future perfect continuous tense. Future perfect continuous tense sentence structure is subject plus will have no has will have been plus ing verb plus object. They will have been staying there for one month. The negative sentence structure is subject plus will plus not have been plus ing form of the verb plus object. She will not have been 
she will not have been finishing the work by the time you reach there or they will not have been waiting for you by the time you reach there okay so that's where we use future perfect continuous tense and the usage is to talk about an action which will start in the future here are those only to start and we end at that moment or continue further okay it will end at that moment or will continue further to talk about that we use future perfect tense by the time i get home by the time i get home maybe in the evening that is what you see point of time in the future my children will have been waiting for me my children will have been waiting for me for two hours today i am late okay usually i go early but today i am late so i want to get relieved from my friend with whom i am engaged now so i tell him let me go home even if i go home now i am very late but still if i go home now by the time i reach my children will have been waiting for me for two hours so by the time i reach home by the time i reach home my children will have been waiting for me for two hours by the time i reach when the senior meeting gets over or if i continue with some other work okay my children will have been studying for two hours that they might continue even after i reach okay they have given a good example here that is we will have we shall have cleared the when mr narai leaves the office at 5 he will have been dictating letters continuously for 3 hours when mr narayan leaves office at 5 he will have been dictating letters for 3 hours at 5 o'clock he is planning to go at that time that is a future reference of time when he leave now we are talking about 1 o'clock maybe and we are talking about 5 o'clock in the evening he finishes work and going he will have been dictating that means he started earlier for 3 hours means from 5 you go back to 3 hours behind that is true he actually started he would have started at 5 o'clock sorry 2 o'clock 3 hours dictated and 5 o'clock he is leaving so we are talking about 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock earlier than that okay so by the time mr narayan leaves office he will at 5 o'clock what time narayan leaves at 5 o'clock he will have been dictating letters for 3 hours okay so these are the basic usages of tense okay in this the future perfect tense now all the perfect tense we use but not very common like other tenses the other line of them we learned but it is in use it is good for us to learn so that we can also use it when others use it we also understand it well thank you